introduce a little bit Audio Bars to the world and uh, let's try to understand what it does. Audio Bars started out as a search and indexing engine for audio content. For the past six years, we've been listening to around six million minutes a month of audio content curated from radio shows and podcasts. So we're capable of taking all of that audio content and put it in bulks of different segments and categories so that we know what was discussed in this uh, radio show or what exactly was discussed in this podcast. And then that allows us to create stories. So by being able to actually cut everything into stories, our capability is actually to index all of that content. So in terms of deliveries, if you ask a question, we find the best answer for you from all of those six million minutes and we provide it to you, just like you said, you know, the Google will do. But another delivery is actually being able to provide you with your own content personalized playlist that you can listen to whenever you want to be kept up to date. We're cutting those stories into short audio clips. So it could be 30 seconds up to four or five minutes of audio clips that provide you with information that you like. And where our AI actually gets into the picture is understanding what are the topics that you really like and then promoting those topics and allowing you to actually personalize your experience when listening to all of that content based on your own behavior. So one of the big topics around artificial intelligence and is artificial intelligence and ethics. And one of the things that people are really worried about is this concept of bias in artificial intelligence. So what kind of a problems slash opportunities are opened up here in the, in the audio field with uh, potential biases in AI? Not necessarily just with, with audio, but I think in the way that we consume information and content today, AI is very limiting. So I think one of the challenges is actually how to expose me to something broader than what is defined as my own you know, personalized profile. So we're kind of putting people into boxes. Another aspect about bias is the gender we give to voice assistants and uh, how do we build a persona around the voice assistant that is actually talking to you. So you've mentioned the banker and a lot of the applications that are using a banker bot would have a man voice and on the contrary a lot of the applications or you know most of the voice assistants that we have have a human bot a woman voice right so there's a lot of bias around that and then the question is how do we break that as well so technology as much as you know right now we see it as a danger for bias there's a lot of things that we could do to actually break that and make sure that you know, we're making a better uh, human, but, but also making a better society 